Coach Phipps, this is a big week for Cougar track and field cross country. The cross country teams are going to the West Regionals over in Seattle. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how you think the teams will do this weekend. I think we're very prepared. You know, we on the men's side, we've uh, traditionally been a better 10K team uh, than an 8K team over the last couple of years. We've, uh, whether we finished fifth or sixth in the Pac-12, we've usually equaled or bettered our position um, at the regional meet. And so we feel very confident over that distance and on both sides, very confident with that course. We've run it a number of times and everyone's very familiar with it. Tell me a little bit about Pac-12 championships. Chandler Tigan was a really good surprise, maybe not a surprise for you, but for those of us who were expecting somebody else to leave the Cougars, talk a little bit about that meet. You know, he's had an outstanding season and every week he's gotten better and better in practice and each meet has gotten better and better. And I think this was a meet where he actually demonstrated what he was capable of doing. And I think that now the confidence has matched his ability and I expect big things for him um, at the regional and at NCAAs. Valerie Career had an, an also great meet. Talk a little bit about how she ran. A very similar uh, story. You know, each each week getting better and better and gaining more and more confidence. I think that Wisconsin race, despite being out in front the entire time, uh, I think it really instilled a lot of confidence in her. And, and she had a uh, set goal, and we did too, for her to be in the top 10. And as you know, Pac-12, uh, both sides, very, very competitive. And, you know, she beat a lot of very quality uh, athletes and and I look for that same sort of performance and that same continued improvement that we've seen all year from her. So let's talk a little bit about the men's team. Who are you gunning for? Who who what color uniforms are you telling all of your runners please be in front of them? Well you know the West region is a is an extremely difficult region. Cross country qualifying on top of being very complex, uh, is very difficult. Less than 10% of the teams make it to NCAAs over 300 teams and only 31 qualify. So it is very difficult. Uh, we've been able to, what we feel is score some points throughout the regular season. So we feel like we've done a sufficient job throughout the regular season to put us ourselves in a pretty good spot. So there's no one particular team or two particular teams. I think if we run our race, which is kind of intelligently patient is what we'd like to call it, I think we'll be in a good position to qualify. And on the women's side, uh, what are the chances for Valerie or even to be joined by Devin Bortfield in making an individual appearance out of the regionals? I think very good. You know, we've we've mapped out uh, who we think will qualify as teams on the women's side and then who those individuals remaining. Uh, and I think they position themselves very well. Devin, uh, the last couple of weeks has, has really come, uh, found her fitness, I think. Um, and so I expect both of those girls to compete um, for that. Uh, one of those four spots. All right. Well, this Friday, you're going to be at Jefferson Park in mm -hmm. Seattle for the NCAA West Regions, and we wish the Cougars the very best. Thank you very much, and go Cougs.